welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is part two of this IKEA style cabinet makeover. Part one was the prep. That was last week, so if you want to see how to prep IKEA style furniture to get it ready for painting, that's the video for you. This week's video is just a simple makeover using silk mineral paint. So as I just mentioned, this is part two of the video. Part one covered prep, and I will link that video top right now if you wanna go and have a look at that. So I'm going in with the color Tide Pool, which is a silk all-in-one mineral paint color, and I'm using a combination of a brush to get in all the little kind of nooks and crannies, and a roller, just because it's super quick and easy. I've got a lot of flat surfaces, and it's just gonna take no time at all to roller this bad boy on. So I am gonna paint the pack, I am using a paintbrush, and that's because that's just chipboard on the back or ply board, I don't even know, but it's nasty. So I'm gonna cover that up with a coat of paint. Don't usually paint the backs of furniture, but I am on this piece just because it's ugly. Two coats of tie pool was enough to cover that. And now we're on to the very technical DIY stencil. So I'm going to create a scallop design with this. Scallops are everywhere at the minute and they're very on trend and I'm a trendy kind of person. That's obviously a joke. But no, I am a little bit obsessed with scallops. I think they're really pretty and they are really quirky. So I'm using an eight ounce Dixie Belle tub of paint to create my scallop pattern. I'm just using cardboard tracing around the bottom of the paint tub and that is going to give me my DIY stencil. If you want bigger scallops, use a bigger tub. If you want smaller scallops, use a smaller tub. It is literally that easy. And I'm just cutting them out with fabric scissors, as you do. Um, these are my old fabric scissors from uni, actually. So they are a bit blunt. So that doesn't matter so much. So I'm just going to cut that out. And then we've got our very own little scallop pattern because there's no way I can hand paint identical shaped scallops. It's just not going to happen. So there I am, very pleased with my little DIY stencil. And then I'm going to use chalk to trace the outline of my very technical stencil that I've just created. And chalk's the best thing if you're going to be kind of hand painting because you can paint over it without any issue. You can wipe it off really easily. It doesn't create any marks. If you use pen or pencil, obviously it's going to be harder to cover those marks up. And then I just used a combination of a few artist brushes to trace that line in paint. This is another silk all-in-one mineral paint colour in the colour Mirage, which is obviously a deeper kind of teal colour. And that's going to give me like a two-tone green effect with this so just take your time that's the only advice that i can give um obviously i made it difficult for myself on the front here because there is a little bit of like a cut out pattern on the front um, of this door panel so i've made it a little bit more difficult for myself but the good thing is if you make a mistake you can just go back in with your tide pool and touch it up at a later date once it's dried um, this is obviously a hand painted item so it's going to look hand painted it's not going to look like it rolled out of a factory i don't intend it to and i'm just going to go back in with the second coat that's just obviously going to make my color nice and solid give me that coverage that i want and bear in mind like i say i am using silk all in one mineral paint don't have to top coat this at all it is extremely durable one little tip when you are hand painting not that i am an expert by any stretch of the imagination but it's easier to work from one side to the other i.e left to right or right to left it makes a difference if you are right handed or left handed which one you do because you're not smudging your work where you've been um, and obviously you're not going to put your hand in wet paint which is what you don't want to do also if you rest your hand on the furniture, it gives you a steadier hand as well. So this is a smaller artist brush. This is a Dixie Bell brush. And this has just got a really kind of tapered end. So it's going to allow me to get really into the detail. And this is the only bit that I had to touch up on the front where I cocked up a couple of times just because of that panel detail. And that's it. I told you it was a short video this week. And because it's silk all in one mineral paint, it doesn't need a top coat. Yeah. Did I mention I painted the interior in conch? I didn't. But I did do that because it's a nice contrast to the outside. And here's the final stage shot. 
I actually might end up keeping my one pound IKEA cabinet because I really like it. Thank you for watching, as always, hope you enjoyed this short video and I will catch you next time. Bye!